Can you say shout out to our crew? Moments ago we were sitting here on this set and now look at this. All I know. set up for a show coming up in just a few minutes with the chinchillas. We want to talk with them as we get everything set here. Celebrating 30 years 30 big together. Yep. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Big show coming up, Water Street Music Hall this week. Yep. When's that? When is it? Saturday? Saturday. <laughs> you gonna be there? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, it's, you know, you get older, things happen. So. All right, Bill Rebus, you want to introduce your bandmates? Uh, over yonder is Pete Anvelt. He's the ringleader, I guess. Bill Corbett on bass behind me. Even further behind me, Paul Ruskin on drums. Okay. I feel badly. We're totally blocking you for everyone at home. Oh, but look, I, there he is. Where's the camera? We're, we're, we're not the eye candy we used to be. So, <laughs> so how did this all start 30 years ago? Uh, 1985, we were all in different bands and stuff, and got together above a dentist office on Monroe Ave and just started playing a little bit and just randomly you all just met there by accident or uh, <laughs> you know 30 years it's a long time and, uh, <laughs> so uh, we might have set it up I think. And, you know I know this guy he plays this he plays this yeah right. okay that's um, cool I feel like bands are always trying to find that right mix not just of you know what you do playing instruments but the right mix of personalities as well how have you guys stayed together 30 years because there's so many bands who can't stay together for 30 days right well you know it's it's kind of like being married but being married to three other guys and you know you can follow that road if you want <laughs> um, it's it's tough sometimes you want to kill them and sometimes you know you love them and but that, that's the biz so yeah and and Bill, when we mentioned that we were going to have the chinchillas on, one of our uh, co-workers immediately goes, I love those guys. I saw them all the time 20 years ago. Yeah. And it's just great that you guys have been doing this. What type of music have you been doing? Have you changed the music? Do you do covers? What, what do you do? Well, we've changed a couple of chords here and there, but uh, it's always been primarily original. Um, throwing a couple covers for the, you know, the folks out there and... Uh, <laughs> But, I mean, we've been, from our viewpoint, we've been like this, but we've been called punk, we've been called country, we've been called Americana. <laughs> we've been right. called a lot of things, too. But, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Is Rochester pretty supportive of its music scene? Uh, it, it can be. Mm -hmm. um, it can be brutal, too. You know, really? Um, but, you know, overall, it's, there's a lot of talent here, so it's, it's tough, too, because... There's a lot of good bands out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you must have a lot of regulars coming out Saturday to uh, <laughs> to go to the show, yeah? Funny story there. Oh. Um, we're, we're hoping. You know, okay. We're hoping. Uh, ticket sales are on the rise, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. What's the funny story there? I'm intrigued. <laughs> It's going to take probably a 12-pack in a couple hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, All right, well, we don't have either of those. That's what happens after 9 o'clock, right? Right, that's, that's the 11 o'clock news. Yeah, that's right. Go up there. <laughs> so what venues have you normally played? You've probably seen a lot of them in Rochester. What's been a couple of your favorites in town? Uh, Abilene's uh, uh -huh. uh, Salad Club. Just uh, was there over the weekend. Right? Yeah. yeah. Danny's a great guy, great owner. Um, yeah. Where else, boys? Help me out here. Cottage Hotel. Cottage Hotel is always mm -hmm. good. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, the bigger venues like Water Street and all that. So, yeah. there's a lot of places that have closed in 30 years, too. So Yeah, I bet. Right. I mean, yeah. you've seen the music scene change here. Sure. And uh, in what ways, what, what stands out as the biggest change from 30 years ago to today? Well, just, uh, just after we got started was a combination of the drinking age kicking up 19 and 21. And MTV coming along, so mm -hmm. that took a large segment of kids away ah. from uh, your potential crowd. Yeah, you know, and then you see DJs coming in with you know computers and stuff, and so it's tough. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to be playing something for us yeah. in uh, just a few minutes. What are you going to be playing? Uh, a song called Genesee Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it all local. right. Yeah, this is local. <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep it uh, local and live coming up about 8.40 or so. We're going to pause right now for some local headlines, including a look at traffic and weather. Be back with that in just a moment.